Now that we are already synchronizing successfully uh, those, these two libraries, let's look into our next issue. So right now we are synchronizing and we receive an invitation to another team site. So let's go to our email. And we have over here, our admin user has invited us to our team site 01. So let's go to the team site 01. And we go to the documents library. We want to synchronize and we click sync. And we get the error message again. No, we are already synchronizing successfully two libraries um, uh, which are our own default documents library from our own personal site and um, a SharePoint library from another team site as well. So the issue, at least it seems to be because of something this site has. Okay, so the issue is that let's first check our own permissions on the site. Okay, so click cancel. And to do that, we go over here. Site settings. And we don't have permission to do anything. Okay, we don't have permission to do anything. So what should we do? Since we don't have permissions to, to change anything, we should contact the user that invited us to the team site, explain what happened, and the user should see what is occurring on the team site that is not allowing uh, any of the other users to synchronize the library. So let's do just that. So let's. So this is uh, with our admin user. So let's sign out. We are with user 003. So let's sign out. And now let's open a new browser to differentiate. And let's go to Internet Explorer, for instance. Okay. And what we are going to do, we are going to log in with our uh, admin user to see what is happening in, uh, in the site. So we are going to log in with our admin user. Okay, we are with our admin user. We see here that we have access to the administration dashboard. We click here. Let's go to the SharePoint Admin Center. Let's click cancel over here, not yet. Let's go SharePoint Admin Center. Okay, so the issue was uh, with the team site 01. Let's open it. And now, when we are on the site, we have the, the folding. Uh, the following uh, options. Either the, the issue is occurring because the user is missing some sort of permission or because um, the, uh, some, some feature uh, is uh, preventing the user from synchronizing. So let's first check the user's permissions. So as an admin, we go over here, site settings, and we first go see the, the groups that we have on this site. If these groups are the default groups uh, that are created when we create uh, any uh, team site, um, or if, it, the, if they are new groups, and then we will check which permissions are assigned to those groups and what the, do those permissions uh, allow us to do. So let's first go to people in the groups. Let's click more. Okay, 
So it seems that this site has the default groups and uh, how, um, as we saw, our user03 is on the members group. Okay, let's see which permissions does this members group has. So we go to site settings and now instead of people in groups, let's go to site permissions. Okay, here it is. And our team member 01, uh, team site 01 members has a level of permissions which, he, which is named perm error E. Okay, it has this permission and this is not a default permission that is created for uh, our site. So what we do now is we click over here, permission levels, and we have the list of all the levels of permissions that we have for this site. These over here are the default ones. And here we have um, a few um, customized permissions. So we saw that our uh, team, zero, team site 01 members group has this permission. Let's see what does it have inside. In order to be able to synchronize uh, with uh, OneDrive for Business, we need to allow two specific, um, we need to check two specific options, options here on the site, under the site permissions, which is, and as we can see here, they are not checked, but we need to enable remote interfaces as well as use client integration features. So if you check this, this automatically uh, checks this one as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to check this for that level of, of permissions. We are going to click Submit. And we edited this level of permissions. Let's double check that it's already with what we want. There it is. It has these two options over here. Submit again. Okay, so right now, if we go to site settings, site permissions, let's check our user 003. There it is, check now. And uh, it has the perm error E given through the team site members group. And this uh, perm error E was the permission level that we just edited to allow uh, to use remote interfaces and launch the applications. Okay, so we check this. Let's sign out from our admin user. Okay, and what we are going to do now is log in again with our user 003 and let's attempt to synchronize our team site 01 documents library. Okay, we are logging in with user 003. We now go again to the team site 01. And let's attempt to synchronize. It should be already with the right permissions. Let's see if we need, if we are able to synchronize. Okay, let's launch the application. And we are already allowed to synchronize. Let's click sync now. Let's look into the folder. 
and we are successfully synchronizing another team site library. So right now we are synchronizing the three libraries. So as we saw, um, one quick test that we can do to see if the issue is on our own machine or on the SharePoint site is to see if we are able to synchronize other libraries and if so, most likely the issue will be on the SharePoint site of that other library. As we saw here, uh, the issue was with the specific permissions that the user had on the SharePoint library, on the SharePoint site.